Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial we will be creating the perfect linear transition for your intros and videos here in After Effects. This technique is super effective and will give your intros a clean and modern look. And before we begin, make sure to subscribe, also hit the like button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. So let's get started! Alright, we're here in After Effects and here in the project window, as you can see, I already have this Media 01 and Media 02, we will import it later on here in the final composition. And of course, you will import your own footage. Now let's create composition, hit on this little icon and this is gonna be final. Alright, 1920 by 1080 and for the duration, it's up to you, I will go 10 seconds. Hit OK and now let's create solid layer, go right click to create new solid layer. And this is gonna be 280 for the width and for the height 1080. You can of course type here whatever you want, hit OK and now let's hit P for position and move it all the way to the left side like so and hit S for scaling, uncheck this option constrain proportion and set up the first keyframe here at 0 seconds and for the X parameter let's type here 0. Alright now go all the way to around 20 frames or so and let's type 100. Alright now grab both of the keyframes, hit F9, go to graph editor and let's draw a curve like this one. Now select both of the keyframes, hit Ctrl plus C to copy and go to one second and let's paste it, alright, now go right click keyframe assistance and go time reverse keyframes. Now let's also select third and fourth keyframes, go here again on the graph editor and let's draw the same curve like before, something like this, alright, and now when we hit zero we have this basic animation, this is in animation and this is out animation of our solid layer. Now it's time to fill the composition with the solids, I will hit Ctrl plus D and for this next one, move one frame ahead, hit P for position and move it all the way to somewhere around here, to the right side, alright, make sure to overlap each other, hit Ctrl plus D once again, move this one one frame ahead, hit P for position and repeat until you fill out composition, I'll just speed up the process. And now as you can see we have filled up our composition with our solids and now when we hit zero we have this cool looking basic animation of our shapes. Alright, now let's pre-compose everything, select them, go right click, pre-compose, this is gonna be transition 1, I'll just hit TR01, hit OK, and now we can also duplicate this transition 01, and for the upper one let's rename it transition 02, and you can also reposition to maybe 5 frames ahead, and now let's add fill effect. For this bottom one let's go here in the facts and preset and find fill effect, alright, and for this particular tutorial I will do maybe this yellow color, hit OK, and for this transition 02 I will go maybe to somewhere around here, dark dark blue color, it's up to you to play around with your own colors. And now when we hit zero we have this cool looking linear transition here inside our final composition. Now let's just drag and drop our media, of course you will import your own, because this is 4k footage I'll just scale it to around 50%, alright, and this is our first media, I'll just hit Ctrl Shift plus D and delete the rest of the media, alright, and now when we hit zero we have this great looking animation and our transition. In every moment you can reposition our transition, go to maybe somewhere around here, also expand this media 01, and now when we hit zero again, this is looking great. I will go to full resolution, just to see the preview, wait until this renders out here in the final composition, and this is looking great. Alright guys, this was cool technique for creating our linear transition, this is the way so you can also create your intros, promos, slideshows and so many more. Also if you found this video helpful, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already and also take a look at my channel for even more great tutorials and until next time, stay creative and bye bye!